And now, with apologies for my weak eyesight, um, Paul Joseph, professor of sociology, will introduce Julie Margulies. It is indeed a pleasure to be here and to introduce Julie. Um, I have to say that when listening to the descriptions of the uh, other students who've been honored uh, this morning and my own efforts to uh, nominate others um, for this position, um, it's wonderful to hear the accomplishments and the contributions of, of everyone. And I know I'd like to say that there's, in addition to the dozen or so who are being recognized here, there are dozens and dozens of more who are also making uh, important contributions too. So somewhere along the way, this university is doing something right in terms of its commitment to, uh, to public service. So, um, but Julie does belong in this room and with this uh, wonderful honor. Uh, we are really focused on contributions to our citizenship and public service, but I would be remiss if I didn't pass over some of Julie's academic accomplishments as well. Um, she's a double major in sociology and in child development, and uh, she focuses on public health, public policy, and a subject uh, near to my own heart, that of political sociology. Uh, she has also won a university award and has been honored with the best student in sociology award as well. And as someone else had mentioned, I think it was Jean, it took um, the sociology department under five minutes to make that, uh, to make that choice. Uh, she's a wonderful student and uh, I can just make a brief quote from one of my colleagues in the sociology department who said that she's earned the only A plus I've awarded to an undergraduate at Tufts. Her final paper for the class was a fitting end to her work. She drew from a range of difficult theories and synthesized them in ways that are rare for an undergraduate. And I've already asked if I can use it as a model for excellent writing when I teach in the future. But we are here to recognize Julie's uh, extraordinary contribution to public service especially for someone so young, still an undergraduate. Her commitment is simply amazing. Uh, Julie has conducted fundraisers, organized Hillel uh, trips to both Haiti and to Morocco. She's worked on education outreach and curriculum development at WGBH. She's contributed to homeless shelters. She's deepened language skills in the Somerville Public Schools. She's volunteered at a land trust. She served as an active citizenship public uh, summer fellow at the Tisch College, and she has been co-chair of the student board at Tufts Hillel. She has worked with other students and faculty to deepen the campus commitment to social justice in so many ways. Uh, some of them are a little bit unusual, at least from the standpoint of my background in sociology and that list of other commitments that she's made. She is a member of the all-female competitive Hollywood fusion dance group. And um, I would love to see a competitive Bollywood fusion dance group perform. And Julie has taken this, which is an expression of a commitment to uh, multicultural tolerance and a celebration of diversity to seven campuses beyond our own here. She managed to create an alternative model of promoting tolerance and the celebration of diversity. My favorite on this long list of Julie's accomplishments uh, is on our campus, where she's worked for three years as a head teacher with Tufts ESL with a particular mandate of providing classes to campus janitors free of charge. And in the process of teaching ESL, you add in a substantive dimension, a, a, a context as well as the language skills themselves. And those that are doing the teaching shared life stories with janitors that were doing the learning. So what was being communicated 
was not just the techniques of the language, the words, the vocabulary, and the grammar, but was also being communicated across these borders were different life stories, and it provided an opportunity, this innovative curriculum, to establish a social arena of mutual respect between two very different members of our learning communities. Julie, we're very proud of you.